House Majority Whip, California Congressman Kevin McCarthy, back with us here in New York in studio. Nice to see you here in person yet again. Well, thanks for having me. We first picked up on this last week when Speaker Boehner came out and said the president has a trust issue. What's going on with this message? Well, th this has been a problem quite some time that we've talked to the president about. Many times he'll have pieces of legislation and he'll come out on a Friday and decide, I'm not going to enforce a certain part of that. And we've always told the president, the more that you do that, the lack of trust you not only build from Republicans, but Democrats as well, that they believe if they pass pieces of legislation, you'll pick and choose of what you think should and be law. You're saying you've spoken to him about that. I know the speaker has spoken to him about it, did told him about the challenge he, going forward. How did he characterize that, or how did he, well, how, how did he present that? Well, the, the speaker brought up to him early on that what you're doing with even in health care has effect on immigration because members believe that if we passed an immigration bill that had a strong border protection that you would not enforce that just as pieces you've picked with inside health care. The president was kind of, from the feedback I got, didn't really think that much about that. But that has built. You look at where it grows, even on the Democratic side. I have members who come to me about it. They will even jokingly say, if we pass a piece of legislation, well, I wonder which part the president will enforce of this one. Uh, you talked about Obamacare and executive actions. What we have found, going back to March of 2013, 122 executive orders, not just on Obamacare, but every executive order, apparently, according to the research, uh, through the Federal Register and the WhiteHouse.gov. 122 going back to March of 2010. I don't know if that's a presidential record, but that goes to the point that you're making about when you pass laws and you change laws, what does that law then look like? And then what does he say? I have a phone and a pen. He, he, he puts a state of the union that says, I'm going to go around you. Well, we have a constitution that you should actually sit there and say, I'm going to work with you. I'm going to use the phone to work with you, and I'll use the pen to sign a bill that we find common ground on. And that's the frustration here. He plans to try to go around you, so how do you even work with him when so, you start out with I, I know Republicans have an issue with this. Do Democrats have an issue, too? Oh, I, 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 what, I, do you, what do you hear from your colleagues? I hear from a number of Democrats. They'll tell me the difference of having Obama and having Clinton, where Clinton would call and work with them, whereas Obama... They don't even have much relationship. Watch how they went down to the White House. You even had reports back where some of the Democrats challenged him, even stood up and said, why wasn't somebody fired for what happened with Obamacare? Then you read a story today in the Senate where they really can't find a senator that's up for re-election in one of the tough states that wants him to come in and so campaign you, with them. You're him. saying the Democrats don't trust him either? How, I, I get a lot of feedback. How many Democrats? Well, I think enough to stop a bill when you look within the Senate, because look what Harry Reid is doing. We have more than 160 bills that have passed the House that Harry Reid won't even bring up, because he doesn't want to put his Democrats that are in these red states up on a vote within a challenge, because they won't vote with him. Uh, Chuck Schumer, Democrat here in New York, suggested over the weekend, apparently, go ahead and pass the laws and make sure they don't go into effect until 2017. Did you hear him say that? I, I heard him say that. I had to smile. It's kind of like the old saying with Pelosi passed, and we'll find out what's in it later almost. But it's in, in, he's almost admitting pass it because the president does become a problem. Pass it and have it go into effect after the president. Isn't part of his discussion it, that he's acknowledging do, do there you, is a real challenge? Do you think that's a serious suggestion from Chuck Schumer? Well, anytime Schumer says something, I always have to think twice before well, I We'll call his it. office and see what he means about that. Talk about solutions, though. If you're feeling that you're in a situation where you cannot trust the president, a man who has three years left in office, and if you're arguing that the Democrats, perhaps moderate Democrats up for re-election next November, have a similar issue, what's the solution ultimately then? How, well, do you, how do you solve that? I think the key solution is have the House and Senate work together. Watch what we've been able to do. We've got a budget agreement the president wasn't involved in. And we actually work to get a budget number for this year and next year. We, we seem to do much better without the president's involvement in these items to be able to move forward. We need to write an agenda that actually creates jobs instead of what the president has done, where you look, is his Obamacare bill, latest comes out with CBO, that 2.6 million people will be out of the workforce because of it. We've got to find legislation that actually grows the economy and produces jobs. And I think the best way to do that is that the House and the Senate work together much sooner than have the president tell us what has so to do. So you think that can be the solution? I think that's the solution we have to look at right now.
Kevin McCarthy, nice to see you. Thanks for having me. Enjoy your time here in New York. It's it's beautiful this time of year out there. Uh, well, even though the snow is a complaint, uh, we could use some in California. I bet you could. As a California guy, I'm sure you can. Thank you. It's good to see you.